Today we are going to talk about the preparation of copper glycine complexes. The equation shows the reaction of copper 2 acetate monohydrate with glycine to form the copper glycine complex. The aim of the experiment is to determine the value of N. To start, we are going to need a few things. Safety goggles. Lab coat. And finally, lab book. This contains the relative safety information for the experiment. Firstly, we need to weigh out 1.5 grams of copper 2 acetate monohydrate. No, 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 not using kitchen scales, using a top loading balance, you wally. <laughs> Next, we dissolve this in 25 millilitres of hot distilled water. A clear blue solution is observed. 15 millilitres of AR ethanol is then heated to about 70 degrees Celsius and added to the copper acetate solution. Then, we weigh out 1.13 grams of glycine. This is also dissolved in hot distilled water with constant agitation. We then pour the glycine solution into the copper acetate solution and swirl. It is then allowed to cool and placed in ice to crystallise. The product is then collected using suction filtration. No, 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 not using a hoover. Instead, we use a Buckner flask. The crystalline solid is then washed with diethyl ether. The wet product was then placed in the oven to dry. The value of N was then determined, first by volumetric analysis, and then by UV spectroscopy. From this it was determined that N equaled 2.